Hello, today we'll look at the treatment of hyponatremia. Hyponatremia means that we have a low amount of sodium in the blood. And we will ask three questions. First of all, is it acute or chronic? Acute means that we have hyponatremia for less than 48 hours. Chronic is more than 48 hours. So it means more than two days. So this patient had this, for, for example, for many days or many weeks. And the second question we ask is, uh, which level of hyponatremia are we talking about? Because the normal level is between 135 and 100, 145. Everything below 135 is then hyponatremia. And we can divide it into mild, moderate, or severe. If it's mild, we are talking about 130 to 134. If it's moderate, we are talking about 120 to 129. If it's severe, it's anything below 120. That's the second question we ask. The third question is, does this patient have symptoms or not? Symptoms can usually be usually be moderate or mild and sometimes they can be very severe. So we can divide symptoms into mild and severe. The mild ones are usually general ones like headache, nausea, vomiting, any gait uh, disturbances so the patient cannot walk so good, the, cr the patient can have cramps, there can be a lot of falling down of the, uh, of the patients with a lot of fractures and confusion. All these are neurological symptoms of hyponatremia and these are mild ones. The severe ones are respiratory failure, coma, seizures like epilepsy, seizures. These are very, very severe. And now that we have these groups, these three groups, we said we had, is it acute or chronic? Is it um, mild, moderate or severe type of uh, hyponatremia level? Or is it sym symptomatic or asymptomatic? So no symptoms or symptoms? Or, and are the symptoms mild or are they very severe? Okay, and now we will look at the treatment. The, the treatment plan depends on these. So if we have acute hyponatremia, then we can treat it more quickly than if we are treating chronic. Because acute hyponatremia is not so dangerous to treat quickly. Acute hy hyponatremia is very dangerous. You can die. You can get the cerebral edema and you can die. This means that we need to treat it pretty quickly and you are allowed to do that. But for chronic type, this means that the brain gets adapted by more than two, three days. And when the brain adapts, it's more susceptible to getting osmotic demyelination syndrome. And this has been dealt with in another video. And this is when we treat the hyponatremia too quickly. So we try to give sodium too, too quickly. Sodium is, is, is actually salt. So you can remember it, you can remember uh, hyponatremia by uh, thinking of low amount of salt in your body. And if we try to give a lot of salt too quickly, then you can get osmotic demyelination syndrome, which means that you kill the brain cells. And depending on which region you kill, that will affect you. For example, if you kill the pons of the brain, then you cannot talk anymore and you cannot swallow anymore. So it all depends on the brain region. And that has been dealt in another video. So now, we are now dealing with the treatment. And we can have general treatment, like general measures. What, what is that? General measures are like we are restricting fluid. So the patient are not allowed to drink so much water. The other general measure is that we discontinue, we stop any medication that can cause hyponatremia. And, 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 and then we have that we can reverse the cause of hyponatremia if you know which which, uh, which of the causes. Uh, so if we know the cause, then, then you can reverse it, if it's reversible. So these are the three general um, measures that we can do. And usually we do this when we are talking about a mild disease. For example, which is the worst, acute or chronic? We said acute is more dangerous. It means that if we have a chronic type, it's not so dangerous. We need to treat it slowly so we don't get any de osmotic demyelination syndrome. And if we have chronic type and we have a mild level, which means that we have 130 to 134, that was the first question. First question was chronic or not? Acute or chronic? We said it's chronic. Then the, second page, uh, the, the second thing is that is it 
uh, mild, moderate to severe level. We said that it's a mild level. What do we do then? Depending, uh, in, in mild cases, we only do this general stuff. We said discontinuing any drug, restricting fluid intakes, so we are not uh, allowing the patient to drink so much, and we will then reverse any cause of the hyponatremia. That was mild, chronic, mild type. When we're dealing with severe type, let's take the other case, severe type, so we have chronic, severe type, that means that we will give something called hypertonic saline solution. So 3% hypertonic saline solution. This is salt what we are giving, a higher concentration of salt. And we will give then 100 milliliter of this 3% hypertonic saline solution in, in 10 minutes. So it's a bolus. A bolus just means that I'm giving it more quickly. I'm not giving it in an infusion, I'm giving it directly into the vein. And I'm giving it slowly, slowly uh, in 10 minutes. Okay? And then I will measure the sodium uh, with, with a point of care device or I will send it to the lab. The best is if you have a point of care device. A point of care just means that you have a device that can quickly, at the point of the patient, quickly to measure the sodium level. And then we will get the sodium level and I see that it's increased or not. And the most important thing to remember is that 6 millimole per day is the maximum amount of increase you're allowed okay, to do. So you cannot increase uh, the level of more than 6 millimole per, per day. So, we had this chronic type of patient with severe level of hyponatremia, which means less than 120. We gave it 100 milliliter of this 3% silent solution. We checked the lab and we saw that the hyponatremia is still there and we still have symptoms. So symptoms are important here. If you still have neurological symptoms, as we said, headache and confusion and all these things, then we need to give another 100 milliliter. And if that is not enough, so we measure it again in the laboratory, we see that the level is, uh, is still kind of low and the patient still has symptoms, then you give another. So three times is the maximum amount you can give. So 300 milliliter is the maximum amount of 3% hypertonic saline solution. Okay, and we will do this for other types of patients also. So chronic mild patients, so my level, 130 to 134, only had general measures. Chronic severe patients had this 3% 100 milliliter solution. Cro uh, chronic moderate type, moderate was 120 to 129, these patients will uh, be given treatment based on the symptoms or not. If the patient does not have any symptoms or very mild symptoms, or does not have any brain tumor or any brain bleeding or any brain trauma or any brain surgery. So if this chronic type of patient with moderate levels does not have any symptoms, then you also do general measures. So it means discontinue any drugs that can cause hyponatremia, restrict the fluid intake and try to reverse the cause of the hyponatremia, the, 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 the real cause of the hyponatremia. Then we have chronic type with moderate level, but with symptoms, with severe symptoms, respiratory failure, as we said, coma and seizures. Here we also need to give this 3%, 100 milliliter bolus in 10 minutes and repeat that three times if you need it and always check the lab between those and, and check if there are any symptoms between these, okay? What about acute? Acute is very simple. Acute, you give the same. 3% saline in 10 minutes, 100 milliliter, then check the lab as we said again, then give one, one more if it's not enough, if you have still symptoms, then check the lab again, check the symptoms, if it's not enough, then once again, so three times as we said. It's all the same. And that is regardless of the symptoms. That if you have acute, it doesn't matter if you have symptoms or not. Because if, if, you have, if you have no symptoms, then you, give, then you can give a reduced dose. So instead of giving 100 milliliter of this 3% saline, instead give 50, okay? 
and then check the response and then see if you need to be uh, give uh, if you need to give anything more so remember for acute type that's the most severe type if you have no symptoms then please give 50 milliliter of bolus in 10 minutes if if there are symptoms any symptoms mild symptoms like headache or severe symptoms then you need to give this 100 milliliter of 3% saline solution and that's pretty much it only thing i want to remark uh, uh, is that if you have a patient with which has potassium deficiency which means they have hypokalemia kalemia is standing for potassium hypo for a low amount of that in the same patient so this patient has hypokalemia and hyponatremia then if you then you if you start to treat the kalemia so the potassium if you start to give potassium then you need to watch out because the sodium will increase also so if you give potassium the sodium will uh, indirectly increase also and therefore it's very dangerous if you give so uh, sodium and potassium at the same time because then you can treat this patient too quickly and if you treat too quickly as we know we get osmotic demonization syndrome and therefore therefore you need to treat the potassium and if if uh, the level of sodium is still low then you start uh, if the level of sodium is still low and the potassium is already good then you can start to give sodium okay so first correct the potassium and then go for the sodium now let's make a very very fast revision what will you ask the patient three things i want to, you to ask the patient is is it acute or chronic and how does this patient know that you ask him did you have these neurological symptoms or did you have hyponatremia before or not did you have it for more than 48 hours or not or did you have it less than 48 hours or not if you have it less then it's acute if it's more then it's chronic and if the patient does not know this and you you don't know it you don't see it in the uh, previous charts you have no idea if it's chronic or acute then always assume that it's chronic always and why because as we said the chronic type is more susceptible to osmotic demyelination syndrome and that can kill the patient if you give sodium too quickly to these patients so if you give sodium too quickly to the chronic type of patients you can kill them and therefore you should always assume that it's a chronic type and you should always treat accordingly that was the first question acute or chronic second question was which level then you have to take a blood sample, send it to the lab, and you will see that it's mild, then it's 130 to 134. If it's moderate, then it's 120 to 129. If it's severe, then it's less than 120. Okay? The sec uh, third question is symptoms or not. And symptoms can be mild or severe. Mild, as we said, headache, confusion, headache, uh, dizziness, uh, nausea, fatigue. You have cramps, you have gait instability, you have falling down of patients with fractures, you have confusion, all these, these are mild uh, neurological symptoms. If you have severe types, respiratory failure, coma, seizures, and death, of course, that's not the symptoms, that's, that's, a, uh, that's a sad outcome of this hypnotrema. These were the three questions, and then we need to group this patient. We start one by one, we said chronic, if it's if it's uh, uh, chronic then you need to treat it slowly and we will divide it into mild moderate and severe as we said uh, uh, based on the level mild which treated with general discontinued drug this dis uh, uh, discontinue any fluid intake and uh, try to reverse the course that was chronic mild chronic moderate depends on the symptoms if it's mild or no symptoms and no brain tumor and so on then general measures if you have symptoms with chronic moderate, if you have symptoms, any type of symptoms, then you give this 3% hypertonic saline solution. If you go on with, uh, uh, then we take chronic severe, then you give also this 3%, 100 milliliter uh, hypertonic solution in 10 minutes, and then three times if you need to, one was remember to always check the sodium level in between and for acute acute is very simple you do this three percent saline 
100 milliliter bolus 10 minutes the same as we did in another one and always check this and maximum maximally of course always to give 300 milliliter that's the maximum you're allowed and it, it doesn't matter if you have symptoms or not so acute it's so if you don't have symptoms you can reduce it okay you're allowed to do reduce it reduce it to 50 milliliter bolus instead of 100 okay that's it i thank you very much for listening